Hey, what's going on, people? Madeline Liver Differently here. Today, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about moving on with a disability. One of the things, one of the things people don't understand is what it really means to actually move on. I want to let you know that when it comes to actually moving forward, there is a misunderstanding that it does not actually mean to never forget, okay? When it comes down to moving forward, it really just means to accept your reality the way it is and to actually move forward instead of backward. If you actually see that there's time moving forward, then you'll actually notice that some people actually have their focus on the past and not on the forward where time is. Forward also means to embrace the forward front and to embrace the unknown, okay? That's a big understanding there. Do not misunderstand that it does not actually mean to go and forward and to forget the whole entire thing ever happened. No, that does not actually mean anything like that. One of the things you can actually do for yourself is to just make sure that you do not actually look in the past and to stay in the past. There's this lady on 60 Minutes Australia and she actually spends 10 years trying to get back what she had lost. You know what that actually means? She has spent 10 years not actually able to actually live her entire life, live her entire days, live anything close to happiness. That means that birthdays, that any kind of engagements with people, any kind of events, anything like such, going to the anything like that, family functions or any kind of you know happiness activities, she always has in the back of her mind is what's going to actually make her happy when that's actually a fallacy and a fantasy and it's actually not real. Remember, we can't actually control time, okay? We can't do anything with time. So that basically means that she is an example of if she was to go ahead and die, would she be a ghost with unfinished business because she's still focusing on the idea that she can actually regain the use of her legs when in fact she won't. Another thing to actually help you move forward is to actually just get out there and hang out with people who are like you. I mean, honestly, I gotta tell you, one of the cool things was when I actually just got done with uh, that tournament of wheelchair rugby, a guy actually asked me if, he, if I would like to ride home. He was an incomplete paraplegic. Uh, he actually had some motor function in his lower half, so that basically means that he was able to ride on the pedals but he didn't actually have enough function to stand or use his legs much. So he's been like that for 26 years, okay? And when he actually invited me to, you know, drop me off, and he actually got in the car, a truck or the pickup, he actually was able to demonstrate to me that he was just like me and it was to help me understand that I was on a path that he was already on years prior and here I am actually jumping on that and I'm actually the future self of a person with a disability and to understand that understand that you as a person is going through something but remember this trust in the higher power trust in Jesus and trust the idea that this life was not imposed on you it was not actually meant for you to go ahead and cry and sulk and do any of that kind of stuff it was actually help you to understand that there are people out there who need you and you have to move forward and you have to move on and accept your reality so that you can actually look into another person's eyes and if they have a lot of questions like a person i actually talked to on facebook he actually has a whole lot of questions but i gotta tell you something I'm actually really comfortable with the idea that I can actually talk to him about these things because honestly, he actually needs me. He actually needs a person like me who's actually been able to move on, who's been able to go into restaurants, to go on the airplane or whatever, to travel and to actually experience what it's actually like. And you know what? He's going to need me. And you know what? Somebody's going to need him. 
So it's very important to actually move forward. You, if you think about it, if you were to die right now, what would you tell the next person? That's right. What would you actually say to Jesus? What would you actually say in the afterlife? Oh, oh, I don't know. There's much more to do. The kids need to go to school. I don't know. I need to actually go and, you know, go to the store. You know, you can really say that in heaven. Oh, and if you guys already have it, please like and subscribe to my channel. Everything counts. Everyone matters. Remember that. I would like to go ahead and make a disclaimer. I'm not telling anybody to go ahead and give up on life and just go ahead and be free and just to not care about their health. I'm not actually saying that at all. I'm not telling you to actually give up on physical therapy. I actually find, you know, physical therapy as an essential thing for people with, you know, brain injuries, things like that. I just made the decision to go ahead and move on with life without physical therapy because I actually felt like physical therapy just wasn't right for me and that, you know, working on cars and doing things occupationally is important for me and it actually has benefited. So remember that. To each of their own and I'm not going to go ahead and tell you on how to live your life. I'm just telling you what it actually takes to move on. That's it, okay? It, I have to take care of my health. It, I know that these uh, ticks are real. It, and it has been shown on paper that I'm actually diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome. But the funny thing is, how can you actually get Tourette-like symptoms or even Tourette's syndrome at the age of 33? Like, really? It, but I guess it can happen, right? Anyway. It, I want to let you guys know that moving on is just an essential part of life because remember this, it, a disability is an acquired thing, okay? And being disabled is actually just an understanding. We are all actually disabled, believe it or not. It's uh, only something that impairs your physical well-being, but it actually impairs your uh, psychological and your mental health. And pretty much when it comes down to it, everybody's impaired in some way, some way shape or form, shall <laughs> but yes, dude, everybody's impaired in some way, shape, or form. I'm impaired, you know, physically with my use, lack of use of my legs, but that doesn't actually mean I'm also impaired and, and I'm nothing impaired in any other ways. I'm actually a former drug addict. I'm a former porn addict. I'm actually a former person who used to lie, and that's an impairation. Impairation? Oh well. That's an form of impairment. If you think about that, that also means indulgence and, you know, sinful nature with the whole entourage or the whole aspect of gluttony. If you think about all these things about lack of perspective, you can actually see somebody's been impaired in some way, shape or form right next to you, right next to you. I'm pretty sure if you're actually watching this and you're alone, you're pretty much impaired by being alone and you're not actually being able to feel free in the way that you should feel free and that's with other people. Also the same thing, if you're actually impaired with pride, that's in a form of mental impairment right there and that's to show you that, you know what, everybody's impaired, everybody's disabled. So it's not actually not necessarily saying that, you know, move on with nothing. I'm just trying to say that when it comes down to a, a moving forward, you have to really understand that this is this life process is a journey and you're going to actually be down. You're probably even getting even more disabled than what you realize because not one person is actually going to stay in the moment of time. Every single day, you're a day older. And that means when you get older, your body will age. And when your body will age, you're going to croak. <laughs> That's the darn truth. You're going to croak. And you have to always remember that. Well, people, this coming to a close right now. I just really want to let you guys know, if you were actually finding yourself, you know, crying over spilled milk or actually finding yourself in a lonely room, an isolated person, an isolated person is a defeated person. And I really want to let you guys know, if you actually find yourself on a shifty carpet, stop trying to actually fall on it and learn how to dance on it. That's right, learn how to dance on a shifty carpet and not falling over. Stop crying over spilled milk and actually start living life because living life is actually only going to happen one time. You only have one life to live. You have a golden opportunity. And remember this, if you were actually having a disability, remember this, you are a representative of the disability community. Don't go ahead and give the normal people something to cry about and something to actually think, oh, well, that guy actually, you know. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. So remember that and you'll be fine. And with all that said, see you.
And with all that said, make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe. I don't care if it damn it, if it's actually twice, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button and hit and subscribe to my channel and see you next time, alright? Peace!